Hey, hey, and welcome to the next video in this Blender series where we're making sprites for our Java 2D game. I think today's video is going to be the last video for this Blender project for a little while at least, since now we have modeled and animated our first unit that we're going to use. And so we're going to bring him into our game and continue programming. However, before I do that, I want to make some tweaks. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get to it. I'm going to head on to the layout tab and here you can see our guy. And the first thing that I want to fix is these very screaming colors. So this red is absolutely yelling at you and I would like for it not to. So select your mesh, go to the materials tab and find your shirt material and make it a color that you want. Maybe you want it to be really vibrant. And in that case, that is perfectly fine, but I didn't want mine to be. So let's just make it a little less screamy. <laughs> and I would like to do the same with the pants. I'm just gonna make them a little bit darker and possibly the shoes as well. I'm not sure. Or do I want the shoes to be lighter? Do I want them to have white sneakers? Would I like that? No. I don't know. Let, let's leave it at, uh, at gray. That's fine. Okay, so with the colors taken care of, the other thing that I thought of was actually this stride. It's way too long. I want it to be more narrow. So go to the side view, select the armature, and go to pose mode. So let's just bring this in a little bit. I'm just going to rotate with R and maybe that was a bit too much. Yeah, so we have to bring our guy up now. Let's do that. Let's actually get this down just a little bit. And since we're going to see from top view, we're not going to see that this looks a little weird. It's fine. Select everything and press I. And also control C, move over two steps, control shift V and press I. So now it's more narrow and I think it'll look better. Let's just actually render that out and look at it. I think that will be fine. So the third thing I guess we want to do is um, remember here in this world tab, I told you that the surface color I usually set to perfectly white and this controls how dark the shadows get. So perfectly white means they don't get very dark at all. So there is some shading going on, but it's not super visible. So what happens if you pull this down a little bit is that you can see the shadows a little bit better. It gets a little more depth. And usually that's not what I'm going for. Uh, I want it to be kind of one color per color, but I thought, why not try it this time? If we don't like it, we can always come back and change it and render it out um, again. We now have our script, so it's super easy and super fast. So I'm just going to leave mine maybe even a little bit more darker. Just because, look, now he's getting this line, and I don't know, maybe I like it. Maybe I won't like it. We'll see, we can always change it. And so one final thing that I wanna do is I wanna fake a shadow under him. So if you know many old games, they have just like this blob under here that's dark, that's the shadow. And I sort of like it. I think I think it's charming. So I wanna do that for, for me. You don't have to, but I'm gonna. So I just added a circle, shift A, and then added a circle. And now I scale it using S. And if we go to edit mode, which you can do by pressing tab with everything selected, press F. So you get a face. And then I think we can go to this materials tab, add a new material, change the surface shader to a diff, sorry, emission, to an emission shader. So the emission really means that it emits light, but if it doesn't have a lot of strength, it's not going to emit light. But the other nice thing that you get is that it won't receive shadows, which is what I want. I don't want my faked shadow 
to receive shadow from my actual object. That would look really weird. So just bring this down to a nice shadowy color. Uh, maybe like, like so. Is it too much? Is it too little? I don't know. Let's just render it out and look. So right now the background is checkered and it's a little hard to tell. So this shadow is darker. I think we should probably aim for the same um, darkness maybe, the same shadow. So this should probably be a bit darker. Never go completely black because it never looks very natural. So is this more like it? I think that might be a little more similar. So we're going to try to do that for now. Do I want this to be a little narrower? Maybe I do want it to be a little narrower so it's just not like a really dark blob that follows him everywhere. So that might be good. And we can, of course, see what we like, if we like it. If we just run our script, go to the scripting tab and press run script and let it do its magic. Now it's done. Head over to your folder where you save them. Open it up see what we get so it does look very different with um with these like darker shadows that the surface light is making it get it it, it becomes quite like it's like going from the nintendo 8-bit system to the super nintendo i guess sort of <laughs> maybe that's good I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with it and try it, right? Okay, so now we have our different animations here. I'm just gonna pop over to where I have my game and I'm gonna create a resources folder in which I am going to make a folder called, what do I wanna call this folder? Yeah, sprites. So resources, sprites. And that's because in resources, we might want to have different things later, maybe music or sounds or, well, whatever we decide we want to have in the resources folder, but sprites. And then I'm going to say units. And here I'm going to actually give this guy his own uh, folder. I just don't know what to name him yet. So I'm just going to name him Dave. I, I don't know why. Let's just name him Dave. And let's just copy this over. And then just to have some variation, let's just go back and quickly change some of these. Like I'd like him to have a, a bright blue shirt maybe and, and some beige pants like so and, and some white shoes, okay. Right, so now we have some variation and maybe some different hair color also. Darker hair, blonde hair, silver hair. Uh, unsure, let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Maybe he's blonde. Is he super blonde? Definitely not that blonde. Or maybe he's ginger, right? So that's more like... Uh, I mean, ginger and beige goes well together, doesn't it? Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's just... Let's just give him and never entirely black. Let's just give him black hair. I think that's okay. Or has he dyed it some really cool color? Maybe he wanted it to go with his shirt. Maybe he dyed it blue. Did he? Did he not? Oh, why do I always get stuck with details when I say that I'm not going to get stuck with details? I always do. Since I can't make up my mind, I'm just going to leave him with a brown color for now. And then we'll 
we'll figure stuff out later because we're gonna want several different uh, units in our game later so we're gonna be back here doing many people so let's just run this script and for so let's give Dave a friend and let's call him Matt <laughs> I'm just pulling names out of a hat right now I feel like okay so just copy these over to Matt and I think actually let's just see what that looks like so we're happy with it I'm not entirely happy with the hair I feel like we could have done something more fun with the hair but I also feel like I need to stop at some point so let's just let that point be now all right so thank you for this time now we have two units to complete or sorry to continue our game with um, so I'll probably see you back here in this blender playlist at some point but for now let's move back to Java thank you for watching hey do